Nice Soccer Universe to this week's Premier League review, at least for now. Uh, first weekend of the new year and I have to say first off the action was a whole lot better uh, but not exactly in the places where I actually did expect it, uh, curiously enough. But a whole lot of better games than we saw over uh, the Christmas break in general. And boy was it a mission statement from the Manchester clubs. Uh, both of them not only playing well but really underlying their aspirations to maybe challenge for a title. Um, although both of them have been at the beginning of the season uh, rather lackluster, uh, maybe they're finding their feet at the moment. The opposite has to be said for Chelsea and Liverpool who are not... Uh, Chelsea really look in a slump and Liverpool probably hitting the uh, kind of a mid-season dip a little bit that they uh, had two years ago as well, you know. Not worried yet, but we have to go there. Spurs uh, back on track and we had a pretty exciting game between Brighton and Wolves. And lest I forget, Arsenal getting three wins in, in a row and nobody's talking about any trouble anymore. We should go to the games. Um, I actually made a point of watching Everton against West Ham and I asked myself most of the time, why did I do that? That was not a good game. Uh, Suchek getting a late winner that honestly, on the balance of play, that should have been a nil, nil. Uh, was a rather surprising goal. I actually thought that Everton was could have gotten a little bit more, but yeah. That was that. But United against Villa completely redeemed for that. That was a really, really good game. Um, Aston Villa came to play, had, had I think, um, good chances uh, maybe to get something out, out of it. I mean, the game was uh, rather open. I You always had the feeling the Manchester United is just this tad bit better. I mean, Pogba playing really well, Bruno Fernandes playing really uh, well, keep, keeping it all, all, all together. And it all came together at the time when Aston Villa really uh, had a good chance. And then they're caught on the count on the break by um, United, where uh, Pogba gets the ball in midfield, lobs, lobs it over. I mean, a really nice move. Uh, the ball then uh, via Rashford goes to Van Bissaka, who uh, cross crosses in, and you can see the defense of Aston Villa is completely misjudging. They're all on on the line, and Martial makes the run. The Tyler Mings should probably come out. I still thought it was a pretty good, good run, a pretty good header um, to. Oh, shot. I don't know if it was a head and either. This was four days ago. <laughs> uh, Marcel makes it 1 0 really, really nicely. Uh, nicely taken. I thought a little bit calling because, of course, I was a little bit more for Villa in that one. And I have to say, those Villa away jerseys, uh, they look really nice. They, I gotta say. So, but yeah, um, on the balance, I think. United were the better team in the first half. Uh, but in the second half, I think there was a really the first 15 minutes. Uh, Villa really um, tried to get back into the game, had a lot of spirit and they actually get the, uh, the equalizer after Grealish assist. And, you know, you cannot leave Grealish alone. <laughs> like that. Uh, I, I think it was a free kick that he... Uh, they were just... Um, it was poorly defended by by that. Grealish really uh, taking advantage uh, advantage of uh, the unsettled United defense and Traore, who I think had a pretty big chance early on, um, puts it into the net in the 58th. But coming right back, I thought it was a little bit of a soft penalty, but yeah, I would not want it was overturned. Uh, Fernandes steps up and makes it 2-1. to one. Villa then pressing, I mean Grealish being everywhere as he usually is, but it ends 2-1 for Manchester United. Then another game that I actually really wanted to see was the Spurs against uh, Leeds game, just because uh, we know Spurs did have a kind of a shaky uh, start to the uh, star, uh, Christmas break. And I thought Leeds United maybe could hurt them, but then I really thought, um, no, the way Leeds is playing, this will play right into the cards of Spurs. And yes, Leeds came out, Leeds was pressing, Leeds were having fun. And then uh, in the first foray forward uh, penalty is given, Harry Kane steps up, makes it 1 0, and then he assists Son Heung Ming in the 43rd to make it 2 0. And then just after the half, uh, Son, a uh, nice cross, and Alderweireld uh, scores. I think it may have been an own goal as well. Uh, so yeah, in the 50th this was done and the game was settled. Um, 
The funny thing is that the game stayed heated and we got a red card for Doherty uh, for Spurs lay, lay it on. But yeah, uh, that was something that Spurs desperately needed. Uh, Crystal Palace get a win against Sheffield, but I think a really fun game, although not a good jersey matchup. Why are Wolves games so contentious with jerseys? I have to ask because uh, City and Spurs are, are arguably they chose the wrong sets to play against Wolves and now Wolves could very well have played in their old gold uh, style jerseys and they uh, show up in Portugal jerseys. Uh, that was weird. The game though was highly entertaining. Uh, Connolly giving Brighton an early lead at Saiz with uh, the, the way that Semedo got the crossbow was very good, but you see Saiz stepping back and heading into the far corner. That was really nice. Then an on goal from Burnley 34th and um, Adama Torre then is brought down, down into the box uh, just, just before that with Ruben Neves converting the uh, penalty. And you think Wolves well on the way. But within a minute, <laughs> uh, Brighton got a penalty or converted the penalty. And that is a pretty... Uh, uh, pretty amazing feat that within a minute you get those two. You usually have a penalty call, blah blah, blah and goes on, da da da. And I think that the foul was even, uh, you know, 20 seconds in or, or whatever. But Mope gets them back into the game, they hit them the bar, and then in the 70th, uh, Dunk gets the equalizer and very late, late on. Um, uh, I think it was Otazo, uh, who should probably have gotten the winner for uh, Wolves, but was not to be. Arsenal, as I said, gets a 4 0 at West Brom. I uh, did not see anything of that game, but I hear our, our Arsenal looked uh, rather impressive. So good on them. Burnley, uh, Fulham, Fulham has the second game postponed for co because of COVID. We have huge COVID outbreaks in Great Britain, of course. Uh, Newcastle, Leicester, Leicester, supremely efficient. Uh, I think. Vardy and a really nice shot by Tielemans um, make it 2 0 before the, uh, Carol pulls one back. And then Chelsea City, which I a little bit really regret that I didn't follow the first half that closely. Uh, I was in between games, uh, kind of the, uh, the Dortmund game had just finished, the Milan game was about to start. And I actually wanted to make it a priority, but I, this was a brief chance where I could uh, take a short breather and then I come down as a 2 0 uh, for City. Uh, I watched the highlights after afterwards and I heard, heard a lot. I mean, it was a case of a Chelsea trying to mirror uh, what City was doing uh, and playing, especially in the mid in in in, in the midfield, only counter deep in, in Manchester and the others uh, way up high, and then City is just overrunning running them with De Bruyne playing a false nine and uh, crucially. That is a squad that had the training center shut down because of COVID. Uh, they had the break, which Everton also did. Everton, I think, uh, completely disappointed, but City had a lot of time to uh, kind of prepare for the for, for first game, if you will. And they put in uh, one of the best performances of the season uh, of any team uh, in uh, that case. I mean, the goals by uh, Gundogan, where he quickly turns around Thiago Silva, then uh, De Bruyne said, setting a phone for the, uh, for the 2 0 21st. That was bang bang, and then De, De Bruyne after I think it was um, uh, Raheem Sterling, another player that I really really value, uh, who first doesn't find the um, uh, the goal, but then has the ball turns turn around, hits the bar and uh, on the post, woodwork, uh, and De Bruyne taps it in uh, from, a, from from a distance. It was that it was only three goals. It should have been way more at that time. City really really. Uh, being convincing. I just said that they're becoming a defensive team, though I never really believed it, but the, the stats bore it out. Uh, and now, such a performance, very late on uh, uh, Hats Hats, it pulls one back for Chelsea, but questions are being asked of Frank Lampard. I'm not sure if that's fair enough. Again, you have a new squad, this needs to gel, and the same thing with Sari, who also had good start, then it went into a slump, and then they still rather comfortably qualified for the Champions League. And then yesterday I watched Southampton Liverpool, which was a really, uh, it wasn't a great match, but it was a really interesting match. Uh, the goal came early through Ings Watch Prowse with a free a free kick playing it on the side of the Liverpool defense with Henderson back there, uh, really being unsorted. And Ings uh, really nicely, uh, he doesn't even, even look, makes the shot on the turn and goes into the net. 
and that set up beautifully for salsa sent me from that point on they could keep it tight it actually was a little bit more threat threatening i mean they had the two lines of four and stayed close together liverpool had a long time to get in, into the game and i think it took them until the 70th to actually shoot on goal after the half though liverpool had enormous pressure i mean you could see it was what was slow in the first half what became quick and a really quick uh, passing putting piling on lots of pressure but they always tried to you know they, they get the ball outside to a player like uh, sane or firmino who wants to calculate in and then a southampton player is blocking it away this was a typically attacking move i have to say that uh Ronaldo had a pretty good call for a penalty in the 50th denied and I was amazed how quickly this was dismissed because you know if you were see the answer on so that would have been a stonewall penalty there so um, that penalty might have changed the course of, of the game but the pressure subsided 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 uh, it was really intense for 15 20 20 20, 20 minutes where Liverpool should have scored Liverpool I think for the first time maybe playing with turquoise kids and I have to say they actually fit nicely they cannot find the goal and Southampton almost made a second. Uh, they were a, a was it a No, well, it was, it was somebody else. But uh, no, Valeri. Um, they probably could have scored. Uh, uh, Schulz Schul, Schul, Schul got a second and then the scenes at the end when Ralf Hasenhüttl, who just was from self isolation, got this win over Liverpool. I mean, he broke out of the tears like they've just won a cup. That was interesting, I have, I have to say. So yeah, the Alton Club. Uh, gets a win over the real club and also Liverpool 7 0 and since then three games without the uh, other win and I think only one goal against teams that you would expect them to get at least seven points rather disappointing I have to say um, we have now in the table Liverpool still staying top but Manchester United with the game less is in second and just the pure table we have uh, Spurs City and Southampton moving ahead of Everton Villa and Chelsea so Chelsea rather looking bad but you can already uh, smell it well I want to say it's rather uneven let's adjust and you know you get also a little bit uh, we'll talk about the new feature on on the right uh, with the projected and expected points but if we're just Manchester United fans you'll celebrate Manchester United now based on record is in first place they are uh, at the moment the best team and City is in third place already. Uh, more or less level with, Liv with, with Liverpool. Liverpool just have a fraction a little bit more VAV, which you can see in the projected points. The projected points is basically um, extend the 2.1 average points to the whole season for th 38 points. So if you keep that uh, points average per game up, you would end up with those many points. Um, so the top four there are rather looking solid. Spurs uh still uh in, in fifth place and chelsea remains in ninth rather damningly um if we go briefly back to the chances i think this is what we have had to first we have we see that uh liverpool united and city are the ones that will uh, now heavily favor to make it back into the champions league uh with city being uh favored to win the championship chelsea still being odds on from spot number four but it is a rather shaky proposition on the bottom we have now uh west brom and sheffield united really 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 looking bad um but let's go back to the adjusted standings um when we look now at evaluating and uh, you know i have here the expected points you can see that expected on average manchester city in my simulations making 75 plus liverpool 74 manchester United 72 which is a very very um tight league and also tells us we will get a whole lot less points uh, for for the winner than we did get in the past few seasons so that is maybe the chance for Manchester United to really do some, some something still they are only third in this projection but we also see the difference kind of the bars who is outperforming themselves and who is not and you see that Liverpool and City are pre pretty much on standard here whereas United is a little bit better uh, I think the positive surprise the bar is really small because Sheffield United down there is so bad uh, that I think it's Everton who is the biggest surprise and you can see 69 versus 50 they're really out, out, out performing their own expectations at the moment the next round is rather difficult because we have uh, first of all we have an FA Cup we weekend which uh, on, on, on the of the I will forgo I will wait a little bit uh, later on for that uh, but then on Tuesday we have one makeup game between Burnley and Manchester United from round one so that uh, will probably see Manchester United really 
taking a leap up and then we have um believe it or not round uh 18 uh only uh five games uh, this is the one that will be split and it's all spread right off of a Tuesday through Thursday. So we have Sheffield against Newcastle, I think, Manchester City against Brighton and Aston Villa against Spurs, I think is the most interesting one of those. The rest of the round will be played a week later. So in between we also have a weekend round, which is round 19 and there's the big one, Liverpool against Manchester United. That will go a long way of uh, showing us if Liverpool can bounce back. And as far as I know, this is the next game that Liverpool will play in uh, the Premier League. So, um, big one right there. So yeah, that was it for me from the Premier League. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Fill me in if you want to add something. Um, and yeah, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye!